Let's take a look at this little bit of information first. Maybe it will save you having to watch the whole video. So Dollar Tree, yep, the same Dollar Tree that had to pay $40 million fine because its warehouse was infested with live and decaying rats that were nibbling the food. Probably just the live rats were doing that. And the same Dollar Tree now being class actioned over selling unsafe medication and another class action over fumbling the data of millions of employees. Yes, that Dollar Tree plans to close 1,000 stores over the next couple of years. A Dollar Tree, you may or may not know, also owns Family Dollar, which between the two of them is a total of over 16,000 stores. Now that's second in size only to Dollar General with 17,200 locations. Now Dollar General is actually the third largest chain of any business in the USA. They're just behind Subway and Yum! Brands. Now what about McDonald's, you might ask? They have only 13,528 locations as of February of this year. Now the point of all this being, do you think that Dollar Tree with 16,000 locations and billions of dollars in sales is going to be able to negotiate better pricing than your little 600 square foot dollar store with rusty secondhand shelves? Are you comfortable going up against these massive corporate giants who have enormous buying power? So we know the competition is tough. You're going to be competing against these mega stores, but you may not know there's actually more dollar stores today in the USA than all of the biggest outlet stores combined. Now that includes Walmart, Kroger, Costco, Home Depot, CVS, and Walgreens. A few years ago, an average of three dollar stores opened every single day in the USA. Now, in case you're curious, the average cost to open up a dollar store is around $250,000. Now, that does not include your real estate. Of course, that's going to vary a lot depending on your city, the size of the store footprint, and amount of inventory. Still here? Okay, another reason to not own a dollar store are the low margins. Average profit on dollar store products is around 35 cents. So let's do the math. It takes 200,000 sales to make just $70,000 a year. That's 547 sales a day, 46, 45, 46 items every hour, working 12 hour days, 365 days a year. Now that's $70,000, that's not going into your pocket, that gets eaten up very quickly by rent, insurance, employee cost, power bills, not much left over for profit. Now we're not even calculating losses to customer theft or expired food or employee theft. You need massive volumes with a dollar store even just to make a livable income. And while stores that opened up 10 years or so ago, they did okay. It's much more difficult now when you have dozens of other stores in close proximity. Okay, if you're still here, still watching, still intent on buying a dollar store, always make sure you check dispersal restrictions. You may not even be able to open a dollar store in your city. Some of these cities have limits on how many dollar stores you can open in an area. For example, Tulsa, Kansas City, Mesquite, Texas, uh, New Orleans, just a few of the cities that regulate the number of dollar stores that can open up. Also keep in mind there is actually a possible future in which dollar stores do not even exist. Take a look at these companies. Ben Franklin Stores, M.H. Fishman, Butler Brothers, W.T. Grant. Now back in the day these were the dollar store equivalent called five and dimes. Everything in these stores was a nickel or a dime and you could find these stores all over America. They were very very popular. Now eventually over time public sentiment and shopping styles changed. Most of these stores disappeared in the 70s, 80s, some of them lasting into the 90s. Now, something else that made five and dimes impossible to operate was inflation. Now, as the value of the dollar drops, you simply can no longer manufacture a product at two cents and sell it for a nickel. Now, just like the five and dime stores, if the dollar keeps devaluing, we end up in a place where a loaf of bread costs $40 the dollar store model may not even hold up anymore at all. Now, if you're still thinking about buying a dollar store, let me leave you with one final reason you may want to reconsider a dollar store, and that is USA relations with China. Now, this relationship has been on shaky grounds recently, maybe getting shakier. Now, can you imagine what would happen, not just with dollar stores, but all across the USA, if we lost the ability to trade with China, or even 
just if inexpensive Chinese goods were hit with tariffs. And that's something that's being openly discussed right now. You could never, ever produce dollar store items in the USA for the prices that buyers are accustomed to paying right now in the dollar stores. So if relations with China continue to deteriorate, we have this TikTok thing going on right now, a lot of things going in in the background, that could create major pricing and sourcing issues for dollar stores. So it's not that dollar stores can't make money, that they haven't made money. There's many people who did okay, but there are certain pressures that are against the industry as a whole. Thanks very much for watching.